So, yeah, I love my country. That's why I'm here. Um, and the dysfunction in our government is killing us in lots of different ways. So, you know, I, I was brought to this country to be free uh, as a child of a family fleeing religious persecution in a country where our American leaders fomented a religious war that has now gotten off its leash and destroying the society that I came from. Um, the dysfunction in our government is subjecting us to an energy policy that is resigning our future to uh, a wasteland. You know, the, the, my nephews and nieces are going to grow up in a country that is just demonstrably less rich in terms of its natural resources or its economy. Uh, the dysfunction in our government is selling us horrible food that will kill us because it's made by and invented by corporations that messed with the genome to make more productive crops and then force farmers to buy them. Uh, and, and we all actively consent to this. The dysfunction in our country is killing us literally because we're sending our sons and daughters and brothers and sisters and neighbors and friends off to die to supposedly defend democracy using bullets somehow in other countries. And the dysfunction in our country is killing us because the, the, the lifeblood of our country, we the American people, we are all being squeezed. There's not enough housing to go around. There's not enough heat to go around. There's not enough food to go around. There's not enough education to go around. There's not enough health care to go around. Uh, but you'll notice that some very privileged people among us have everything and more than they could possibly need. And whatever your attitudes are toward political philosophy, whatever your attitudes are towards liberty or equality, I think among the things that bring all Americans together is this idea that we are a nation of we the people uh, and not we the fictitious entities that we've created to make economic uh, transactions more efficient, right? We are people, and, and we are the people from around the world. You know, the, the, the hungry masses yearning to be free uh, brought here. We're, we're world historically unique. There's never been a civilization like this with people from all over the world uh, all sharing space, and, and, and we have lost that space to ourselves. And um, you know, with all due respect, I think that there are a, a million different ways to the brighter day and different paths up the mountain. Um, and I know a lot of people are inspired by social media. I'm really inspired by gatherings of people, um, which is why you know, Occupy Wall Street or Occupy DC or uh, the citizens' intervention on the 29th are so important. I think it's just as important for all of us to be gathering with our friends and neighbors where we live constantly. If the news we know is bankrupt and if we know our leaders are lying to us, the only way we can get real information is from each other. And we can certainly do that online. But we can do that in real spaces, too. And in real spaces, there is power. If we can connect across communities, if we can reach out beyond our boundaries, we can be we the people again. And we can see our country through the very dark day that confronts us. I'll see you at the Capitol on the 29th.